I'm Alameen Abdul Mahmoud. This is Commotion. Okay, so the Oscar nominations came out this week, and one of the big nominees was this guy. I'm just kidding. That is Ryan Gosling singing I'm Just Ken in the Barbie movie. Frankly, I think this song should win Record of the Year at the Grammys, but it will settle for Best Original Song at the Oscars. Ryan Gosling also picked up Best Supporting Actor a nomination as well. Look, Barbie got eight nominations. It got eight nominations. That is not a small amount of nominations. It's one of the most nominated films at the Oscars this year. But... It did miss out on Best Director for Greta Gerwig and Best Actress for Margot Robbie. Let me tell you, the fans have not been quiet. Even Hillary Clinton uh, wrote a consolation tweet to Margot and Greta saying, quote, you're both so much more than enough. The group chat is here to talk about this Oscar drama, and we're going to start with Barbie. Kathleen newman Bermang is here. Rachel Ho is here. Rad simon Pillay is here. What's up, everybody? How's it going? How's everybody oh. feeling? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. We are going to get... post-Barbie snub day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a day on the calendar, but I love that that's where we're starting. <laughs> we're going to make it a day on the calendar today. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to call it a day, basically. I, I can tell where you, where, you are, where you are on this even before we start. I mean, okay. Fine, let's get into it. Kathleen, the disappointment for Barbie has been kind of inescapable. You know, Greta Gerwig gets a nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay, not for Best Directing. Margot Robbie gets a nomination because she is one of the producers of the Barbie movie. So she's literally up for Best Picture, but not for Best Actress as Barbie. Kathleen, how do you feel having seen the level of outrage that you've seen all week? Go in. I'm I'm just going to take a deep breath (laughs) and just start with some of what you just said that's wrong with this outrage, all right? Okay. As you said, both Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie are nominated for Oscars. Let's make that clear. They are nominated. The movie as a whole is nominated for eight Oscars, including America Ferreira, who is nominated for Best Supporting Actress, her first ever nomination. So this outrage over two white women not being nominated in two categories that is somehow being framed as this like horrific slight against feminism is quite frankly offensive to me. Because let's talk about intersectionality. Shout out to Kimberly Crenshaw who came up with that term. We have spent years begging and educating white people on thinking about feminism through a more inclusive lens Mm. and to remove their own ignorant biases. So if we are going to take this damn movie so seriously, this movie about a doll, and we're going to talk about the Oscars in this way as like a purveyor of feminism, if we're going to do that, this Barbie discourse proves that none of you were listening or learning about intersectional feminism. Margot (laughs) lost out on her Best Actress nomination not to Ryan Gosling, but to five other women. And one of those women is Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Fire Moon. And her nomination as an Indigenous American is historic. But we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the blonde woman who made a billion dollars, got nominated as a producer, and already has two Oscar noms. We're also not talking about America, the woman of color who got nominated for the same movie, or that America is in a category with two other Black women, Danielle Brooks, Davon Joy Randolph, which never happens. We're not talking about Justine Triad, a woman who was nominated for Best Director, who was nominated for Best Director. We're not talking about Celine Song or Greta Lee for Past Lives who are actually snubbed. Hillary, we're not talking about that, are we? Kathleen uh, has had we're done. Kathleen has had all her coffee this morning <laughs> immediately before this conversation. I mean, like that's first of all, that's the energy I want all the time. Thank you for bringing it. <laughs> I, I, but Rachel, you know what? I am I regret to do this to you, but I'm going to play the devil's advocate for a moment, which is to say yeah. that with all the recognition that the Barbie movie has gotten, with the nominations in the screenplay category and the best picture category, with America's nomination, there is also this contrast of the other guy, Ryan Gosling, right, um, who's a central piece of that movie as Ken, he gets nominated over Barbie in the Barbie movie. Do you see that as any kind of contradiction whatsoever? No, because the Oscars isn't about awarding a movie because it's feminist and saying, well, we should only <laughs> award the women. Like, that's not what the Oscars is about. <laughs> the Oscars is meant to be the best of the best. It's supposed mm. to be the best performances of the year. Ryan Gosling in the Academy's eyes had one of the best performances of the year. Yeah. As Kathleen just very eloquently said, Margot didn't lose a nomination because Ryan Gosling gained a nomination. Mm. She she didn't lose it. I'm sure she probably was like sixth place or whatever. She yeah. just didn't make the cut in a pretty competitive year. Ryan Gosling, he's in a very competitive category as well. 
personally, if you, you told me to pick one performance from that movie of who I thought was the best, I would take Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Sorry. Yes. He's the one everyone was talking about after the movie. And maybe that is ironic. And I mean, it is. It's funny. Ha ha. Whatever. But yeah. Fact is, Ryan Gosling's really good. He's Breaker High's Ryan Gosling. He's amazing. Like, come on, let's be real. Shout can out I also Breaker jump High. in on? Can I jump in on like jump Ryan in. Gosling's statement in response yeah. to that? That's where right. He, he put out a he, statement saying yeah. there would be no Barbie with there would be no Ken without Barbie without Greta without Margo. yeah yeah. But also like like a statement almost like finger wagging at the Academy, and I'm like, yeah. come on, right? Like, I mean, here's the thing. I get you want to be white knighting for your girls, and that's cool. But do it in a way where you recognize the generosity of Greta Gerwig in giving you a role like that, hmm. right? Do it in a, if there's, I mean, if there's a flaw in Barbie, it's that the Ken character stands out. But if that's also like part of what is the best thing about the movie, recognize that Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig were generous enough to give this male character the nice storied arc of yeah. learning and all that and make your character interesting enough that it got an Oscar nomination. Do that instead of, waving your finger at you know the academy for not you know picking margo <laughs> and, and barely acknowledging america's it was like at the very oh, yeah. end oh, it was yeah, a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i was like oh yeah america, america got nominated too didn't i did she? have to yeah, say we probably say that was an odd part of ryan gosling's statement it was you this like <laughs> lovely words about greta and about margo and then you kind of get to the end and he's like also america was nominated isn't that great and you kind of go i would have put that in graph too personally you know yeah. it feels like it kind of belongs <laughs> slightly higher up the statement than the, than the place that it got to rad I think all this being said, we also have to acknowledge that the best directing category still kind of is a boys club, right? Like an ad yeah. Anatomy of a Fall director, Justine Trier, she's the only woman nominated this year. She's only the eighth woman to be nominated mm -hmm. for Academy Award for Best Director. We are almost out of the double, into the double digits. We're not even there yet. We're only at <laughs> eight um, at this point. So what's going on there? Yeah, I mean, look, obviously that situation is reflective of how historically women have not had opportunities to direct and then to direct a certain caliber. But it's also reflective of the fact that the director's branch at the Academy is a boys club, right? Because mm. it's made up of directors and that's what it, what it's been, right? And the thing is, though, like, I mean, I have so many mixed feelings about this Greta Gerwig thing because, like, first of all, you know I don't feel aggrieved for Greta Gerwig because I didn't even like Barbie that much, right? Yeah. Like, I didn't and think you're, it was And okay. you continue to be brave to say it. Yes, uh, continue. I mean, like, it's yeah. like, you know, and the thing is, though, like, I mean, on the one hand, I get when you there's this thing that you loved and you feel that someone like Greta Gerwig did something extraordinary where she took yeah. a plastic doll, pulled it out of a box, engaged people in a conversation you did not expect, engaged the whole world in that conversation, became, becomes a phenomenon. And you're like, why isn't she recognized yeah. when men have been recognized for less? Right. I mean, like Tom Cooper, Tom Hooper won an Oscar for directing something as basic as the King's Speech. Like, the guy who directed Cats <laughs> as a freaking best director Oscar. Unbelievable. Like, <laughs> like, the movies that you pick sometimes, I have to go like, no. you're making a great point, but why that example? You know what I mean? You could pick, cats. You could pick Spielberg and War Horse, and you go, oh, the King's Speech. <laughs> King's Speech correct. slaps. There will be no, no disrespect no, no, no. of the King's okay, Speech in this house. Guys. Yeah, no, but <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Here's yeah, the thing. no, it's okay. true. Well, I, I have to correct. But here's the thing. Like, even looking at last year, the biggest movies of last year: Top Gun, Maverick, yeah. okay, Avatar two. We're not nominated for best director, so yeah. there is no automatic. Your movie being the biggest movie of the year deserves a best director nomination. That's and true. if you're gonna feel aggrieved that a woman missed out, where is the energy for Kelly Reichardt? Where mm -hmm. is the energy for A. V. Rockwell? You know, where is the energy for Kelly Freeman Craig? Like, you know, those are the directors that I think truly deserve. And that's where yeah. I want to see that conversation go. I do think there's also this regular mismatch between the number of nominees for director and the, the number of nominees for best picture, right? Like you have 10 best picture nominees and you have five best director nominees. There are five movies on that best picture slate where we have to pretend like they directed themselves, even though they clearly did not. And so like, that's how we kind of sometimes end up in this situation. I do want to do a, a around on the snubs real quick uh maybe rachel i'll start with you what's like a real snub that everyone should be mad about we should be like out in the streets about it. be like how dare you snub this movie i i go protesting for all of us strangers i think that that movie Let's was go. gorgeously made gorgeously yes. written gorgeously acted and it got absolutely nothing. I was shocked. I thought that it would make, I thought Andrew Scott might have a shot to get in there. I thought at least it would get into adapted screenplay and may, maybe, 
maybe Greta Gerwig took Andrew Haig's spot there. Like, who knows? <laughs> that that should be the controversy that we're talking about here. But I loved All of Us Strangers, and I was so sad to see that it didn't get it didn't get anything. I thought it would get at least, you know, one or two nominations. But yeah, I, that, that's what I'm stomping the streets for. I, I, I'm there with you. I'm right there with you. Kathleen, what about you? What are you what are you mad about? Uh, a lot, clearly. No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> cogged down a bit. Um, and I do want to talk. We already mentioned Celine Song. Mm-hmm. Um, she wrote and directed one of my favorite films of the year, Past Lives. And she is nominated for Best Original Screenplay, but she's not Korean, nominated for Korean Canadian Best Celine Song, we should say. But yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out. Um, so she's nominated for Best Original Screenplay, but not for Best Director, which I think is a snub. And then Greta yeah. Lee, the star, who was phenomenal and acted circles around Margot Robbie. I think Margot Robbie's great in Barbie. But if we're going to go... Who's taken whose nominations? I think Greta Lee was snubbed and is incredible. And then, you know, I love my cousin in my head, Fantasia Barino, who I said on this podcast gave one of the most beautiful performances I have ever seen on screen in The Color Purple. Yes. She was also not, not, not nominated and she deserved. No, 100%. Um, I also like the idea that like you're you're protesting against this notion of, you know, they give us these nominations and then we fight and go like, well, this person stole this person's nomination when really we should be, I don't know, taking the whole system down. That's, wh- that's where we should be going <laughs> I do, to. That's, I usually agree with that. And <laughs> I'm usually like kind of anti-snub. Yeah. Except for, you know, when it's Oscar here. so white, you know, all that. But uh, here I, I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that for us. Rad, what about you? What's a snub for you? Well, first of all, I have the opposite response of Kathleen, whereas I think this whole Barbie discourse killed the the, the whole idea of snubs for me now, and I can't be <laughs> angry about anything she said anymore. Like, I just, I can't snubs work are the over. anymore. They're canceled. Like, snubs yeah. are over. We're canceling snubs. <laughs> um, but, you know, look, like for me, I mean, I've been a diehard for Rachel McAdams this whole award season for Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. I've been yes. a diehard for that movie all year. I think that movie makes it look real easy, and it's really moving. Um, and Rachel McAdams also always makes it look easy and so that's the one where i felt like aggrieved if we're gonna feel if we're gonna have feelings but also like i mean the bigger (laughs) snub sorry can i just take like the bigger snub here is may december which is Yes. You know, by and far, yeah. one out. of the best Complete movies of the shut year. shut out of one of the be- yeah. for, for one of the best movies of the year. Yes. But I also yeah. love that it's been shut out because it's basically like it was so effective that the Academy's like, yo, are we, are, did they, are, we feel caught. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that, the way we are predatory and we tell stories, we are very predatory when we have done want to tell stories about trauma so we can pop up our opportunities for performances. I feel like it was snubbed on across the board because of that. And also, I don't expect much for Todd Haynes in terms of Academy Awards because, like, you know, unless he's making a period piece Douglas Sirk homage he doesn't get Academy Award nominations I mean the one nomination the May December has is one more than Safe got so <laughs> well I, I think we should also say tell people that like May December the context here is this is a movie about an artist's desire to basically um, mine for parts real life people's traumas mm-hmm. in order to sort of you know raise their own profile as an artist exactly if there is I mean like that's as a statement and as a movie, that is an indictment of the entire institution, right? Like, that is an yeah. indictment of the entire sort of artistic process. Rachel, were you surprised to see uh, May, December not get anything at all? Yes, I really thought it was getting in for at minimum acting. I didn't think Todd Haynes had a shot in hell for directing, but yeah. I thought that. Who definitely do you think was going to get it for acting? Did, I thought you... Julianne Moore. I thought she, and then I know Charles Melton. I was on the Charles Melton on train. Too, yes, but I, I would have loved to see him get one, but I was more surprised to see. Julianne Moore didn't get it. And when America Ferrera got nominated, I went, oh, that's that's nice. And I went, but who got left off? And I was like, oh, shit, it was, it was Julianne Moore got left <laughs> off, which is fine. I mean, that's, you know, whatever. But I, yeah. I was pretty surprised about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, st- I'm honestly still not okay about it because Julianne Moore gave an incredible <laughs> performance. That's the one that I'm taking to the streets over. So, you know, <laughs> we ride it, Don. Let's go. All right. <laughs> if-